Hello everyone, today we're going back to Greece and to Savon Mister Irish legend. Now, this was supposed to be the set I was gonna use on St. Patrick's Day, but we had a bit of a delay with the post and I was unfortunately unable to do it on uh, St. Patrick's Day. So this is the closest I can get to it. So we're gonna do it now. By the way, I know this is inspired in Creed, Irish green tweed cologne, but um, I, don't, I never smelled it. So I don't know for sure. Uh, uh, what kind of a scent would, would it be but green I'm expecting something green there um, so let's see what we have here we have the full set and since it was inspired in St. Patrick's I tried to get everything green so the brush is gonna be the Highlander brush kind of the jade green one that I have there so that's the one we're gonna use and we're gonna put it to soak straight away the brush is there soaking. We're gonna grab the razor. We're going to one of my favorite ones and I think because of the handle and the razor itself it's all very similar there with the label green and black. So we're gonna use this one. The Life by Design 94. And to load it up with an Astra green. This one is still the old Astra greens. It's already opened the package there. So let's just take it off and let's load this Astra green in the razor. There we go, load it up, let's put it on the back there and now let's wet the face and then open up and see what we're working with. There we go. So now let's grab the soap, Irish legend and I, one thing I love is this label, the green hat there full of shamrocks and kind of vines around, really really nice. By the way the base is the ASA 2.2 so it's a tallow base. Let's open up now and see what expect us inside. Here we go, Irish legend by Savon Mister. Ho oh, oh, ho, this is a, this is a, another fougere. That's what it feels like. It's green, all right. Kind of a fresh scent as well. It feels a bit stronger in terms of intensity from the puck than the previous Savon Mysteries I used. A bit, bit, a tiny bit. Still kind of the medium normally on the puck is about a three or a four with the, the ones I've tried by Savon Mysteries. This one is kind of a five. So I'm expecting this to go up as soon as I add some water to it. Oh yeah, this is a, a fougere green. Feels very fresh actually. There's a hint of, um, nah, I'm uh, nah, I might, might be mistaken. I was gonna say uh, a hint of uh, aquatic. Now the main thing is green basically. It's um, it's a, a, a cologne kind of fougere kind of that way. Let's put the lid here on the back and now let's grab the brush and start lettering. Here we go. There we go, just washed it up. Let's put it in the back here drying now. Grab the brush and start lettering. Let's go. There we go, leathered up. Wow, I have to check one thing. This is the 2.2. I think I never tried this base because this feels way creamier than the previous ones. Way, way creamier. And it was quicker to leather, even quicker. The other one was already quick. Let me just check one thing. I have the other Savon Mysteries here. This is the other, yeah, this is a 2.1, as you guys can see. And let me see the other one I tried, which is here. And, and yeah, it's the 2.1 as well. So this is my first time trying this new base, the 2.2. And you definitely feel a difference definitely nice let's just straighten it out here a bit yeah if it's way creamier and it leathered faster this is definitely the kind of leather that there's a, um, a subscriber in particular that's really particular about his leather try this one I know I know you know who you are try this one you definitely will like actually he has a YouTube channel as well now he started doing videos as well his name is T-Rex so check his channel he normally shows the leather and he's Greek as well so T-Rex try this one you're gonna love it so let's go let's put this in the back here let's grab the razor and let's start our shave. By the way, before we start our shave, the scent definitely went up. It's about a six. This feels more like a cologne, fougere, but there's freshness here. I don't know if it's citrusy per se, but it feels aquatic at the same time. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm not completely sure. I don't want to be misled here, but that's the feeling I got. It's, this is definitely Irish uh, because here in Ireland you have the green and you have the sea combining together and that's what it, this feels like. Although, 
purple, it's more on the fougere and more on the green kind of side than the than the sea. But you feel that freshness there. Unless it's just a, a hint of some uh, citrusy kind of stuff there that gives that feeling. That's my feeling at the moment. Yeah, and the intensity is about a six here on the leather. So we went up a point from the puck. Not, not too intense at all, but really, really, really nice. It's a cologne, cologne kind of scent. So let's go. Design 94 Life with an Asta Green Blade first use. Here we go. There we go. First pass done. Oh yeah. This pace is way different than the first one. It's creamier. It's a bit denser. Slickness is off the charts. Great protection. I thought the 2.1 was really, really good already. This is definitely an improvement. And you feel the difference. Uh, I, I felt it straight away when I was leathering, but now shaving, definitely. And the skin, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have a great shave today. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Let's clean this up. Let's get ready for it. Second pass. There we go. Let's grab the brush and this lovely, lovely leather and let's start getting ready for a second pass. Here we go. There you go, ready for second pass. Yeah, this leather is silky. Really, really silky. Dense. Oh, so good so good and this scent is definitely stronger than the previous ones i said a six it's actually i feel that it's a bit up there six and a half not a seven per se but a little bit more intense and the more i leather the other thing as well is really spreading really really sp spreading so let's go let's leave it there in the back grab the razor and start our second pass design 94 life with the nastra green first use let's go across Lovely. Oh, yeah. Second pass done. Oh, this scent is gorgeous. It's morning tails. It's a cologne. Fougère. Fresh. I still think there's kind of a either citrusy or aquatic there on the background. But the main one is the green and the fougère. Oh, yeah. And this new base, I loved the first base already that I tried. So the 2.1. This 2.2, it's on another level. It's definitely on another level. You feel it on the skin. You feel it when you leather. You feel it when you're shaving. It's different. It hits different, guys. So so let's go, let's wet the face and then see how much we still have left there. There we go. Let's grab the brush there and let's see how much we still have left in here. Yeah, this scent is gorgeous. And this leather is just silky, silky, silky smooth. Look at this. Silky smooth. Lovely. We still had loads here. We could have done another two passes easy and this could form more. So if I get the brush and start doing, you can form way more. But I don't like to do more than two passes and I don't think I need it because it's BDS. So let's go and take this off now. There we go. Now let's pet the face. Petting the face, feeling gorgeous there. Now let's get some witch hazel. There we go. Witch hazel and tea tree oil by Boots. Oh, lovely. The sleekness came up again straight away and my skin is just feeling like silk. So smooth. Lovely, lovely, lovely jubbly. By the way, the scent is still around. Still around. Let's go. Now, let's let this dry. I'm gonna wash all my stuff and I see you back for the post shave. See you in a bit. We're back. Let's go into the post shave and the splash. Irish Legend by Savon Mister, inspired on Creed Green Irish Tweed. So let's open up and see how this scent is. Here we go. Oh yeah, different. Feels a bit different. I'm actually gonna put a bit more. Feels a bit different than the, the soap. More intense. Mm. Oh yeah. A bit more intense, a bit more fougère. <sighs> hmm, hold on. Yeah, I still feel that um, citrusy, I'd say, or freshness there coming up now. But yeah, lovely. It's just lovely. <sighs> It's a different kind of fougère for me. It's kind of a fresh, fresh fougère. Yeah, it's green, but there's something different about it on the background. It's, um, yeah, I, 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 I'm still kind of confused if it's C notes or something like that, or if it's just citruses. <sighs> Yeah, there's um, a floral kind of scent that I, it feels like lavender kind of that way on the back as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's about a seven here on the splash, by the way. Lovely. 
It's really, really nice. It's a cologne scent. Mm, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, because I'm really curious, I'm gonna grab, they don't have a site per se, Savon Mystère, but they have their Instagram and I think they have their Facebook, but I'm not too much on Facebook. So I'm gonna grab my phone and see what they say about this scent on their uh, Instagram page. Give me a second there. We're back here, grab my phone, and let's go into Instagram and Savon Mystère. There we go. Okay, it's actually the first one straight away. Let's read what it says there. Feel the legends, feel the salty breeze of the sea and the green countryside of Ireland. Scent inspired by Creed Green Irish Tweed, which I already knew this, a true fougère niche fragrance that is in the market for almost 40 years. Top notes, peppermint, verbana, lemon, bergamot, balbanum. Okay, so it has citruses, it has the freshness of a peppermint, which is greenish kind of that way as well. Yeah, so nice. Heart notes, geranium, lavender, viol violet. Okay, so there's violet there as well, f that floral kind of kind of scent as well. Base notes, sandalwood, cedarwood, ambroxan, oak moss. I felt more of the oak moss than the cedarwood and the uh, sandalwood. Uh, yeah, that, but definitely. Seaside, uh, that's that. That's what was confusing me because if I felt like it was sea notes kind of that way. No, it's mainly, mainly the bergamots and the lemon and, you know, geranium and all that, that gives it that hint of breeze of the sea. And it, you do feel it like, uh, but the main one for me is the oak moss, the green kind of scents, and then you have that floral on the back. So really good description. I never tried the Creek Green Irish Tweet, so I don't know if it's exactly the same. The only thing I can say is that this is a really really good scent gorgeous so that's what they say here on their instagram page let's put this in the back there and let's recap our shave so to leather up the soap we used my highlander brush this is the smallest highlander brush i have it's kind of a jade kind of color green with a synthetic note there to kind of a tuxedo really really efficient small i like i like like for me small ones have to be easy to grab and this one is pretty easy this shape here is simple but easy to grab very easy love it so that's the brush let's put it there grab the razor one of my favorite razors the life by design 94 uh, every time i do a video with this one everyone asks me when it's coming out i still don't know um i'm gonna try to get in touch with him again and find out there must be some kind of delay uh i don't think it's in the design because the design itself is brilliant really good it's one of my favorite razors to shave with so it might be materials or something like that but he said it would be the beginning of this year so it should be close to it that's the life by design 94 then the soap this is my first time using the 2.2 base and if I loved the 2.1 this one is on another level you way creamier way quicker to to leather the skin is moisturized there while I was shaving really really good uh, plenty of protection this is definitely thicker than the previous one uh, and I know for you T-Rex that's gonna be a brilliant one for you for sure yeah and it, it's just top top notch base there top notch base as for the scent God just it's actually more intense than the previous ones as well uh, by a point or so but you do feel the difference there um fougere i already read the descriptions there uh lovely lovely fougere with kind of a fresh scent there but you can use this all year long uh, and this spice brilliant and then the splash which i'm still feeling it here lovely feels more intense than the soap the it, the cologne scent is more aggressive here so you feel more of that oak moss uh, the green part of it and then you have some breeze hitting from the back and some uh, florals as well uh, that you feel but uh, the main one is the green the fougere part um, and then afterwards it starts mellowing out a bit and then you feel that kind of a uh, fresh fresh scent on the background lovely and i know this will last me the whole day in terms of the scent because the previous ones did already and this one is about a seven in terms of intensity really really nice love this scent i was never a big guy into all, all fougères i love fougères don't get me wrong but i was never the big guy for that i was always more in aquatic scent notes and fresh kind of scent notes this one kind of combines the two of them in my opinion and it's just gorgeous so that's it for me now this shave was supposed to be done a week ago 
you for St. Patrick's. We've done it now. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to put a like on it. Really, really helps the channel. And if you want to help the channel even more, there's my affiliate links down below and a few codes for you guys for discounts if you want to acquire anything from the bottom there, from those sites. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Ciao.